what a conversation. Um, I just tell my children that this monument and <sighs> loads of other monuments that stand around the UK is a symbol of white supremacy and oppression. And to take those statues down would mean to acknowledge that this country was built upon the blood of our people and that I'm saddened that they ask me the question because education should be there from primary school about slavery, the truth about slavery and that well, sorry. Hey, you take your time. And that to address this would just mean that they would be acknowledging that black lives do matter and that we do matter and what they did in hindsight for them was wrong and cruel but that's why I would tell my trip to James because really and truly right now we're living in a world where it's subversive and people are like kind of just ignoring the truth and want us to apologize for being who we are and i will tell them don't apologize for who you are learn and hopefully one day this country and other countries like it will do better and be better I think you do them a service with with, with that advice, but I, but I hear your tears as well. You see, and and that's the problem, isn't it? Is that if 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 we don't do better, then it will be your children's tears twenty years from now that we have to. Yeah, I mean, James. Like, do you know something? Everything begins with education. We've been fighting for education reform in this country for years. Just like, you know, can you teach black history, not just in October, but throughout the years, but to acknowledge that the enslavement of black people stolen from the African continent was one of the worst things that could ever happen in the history of human beings. And so far, nothing. No change. Is, is it, the, the thing Ajuma suggested, which had never really occurred to me before, I wonder what you think of it. Because I, I, I obviously look at people and wonder why they don't see the truth as clearly as, as you do. And to a lesser extent, as, as someone who doesn't have slavery in his family history, as someone who, as I see it. And, and why would it be? And, and I don't mean the, the, the poor sort of spoon-fed... Lemmings. I mean the people doing the spoon feeding, or, or perhaps more importantly, the people picking up the bills for the people inflaming the racism. Is it? Is it? Do you think something? And I say this very cautiously because I'm not there yet. But the caller was very articulate. Is it because it would leave so many enormous question marks hanging over the fortunes of people alive today? When you read about, and this UCL database that, that I've just tweeted is incredible. You type in a name and, and the compensation, quite a lot of middle class people owned one or two slaves, you know, Chantelle, as investments. Yeah. As investments, like a buy to let, but a human life that would be working in the plantations. And and if, if, if we really fully acknowledged the depravity and the extent of slavery, instead of teaching kids about William Wilberforce and encouraging them to give themselves a pat on the back, if we really taught it, then an awful lot of fortunes still in place today would have very ugly and dark question marks hanging over them? Or, or does, how does that reach your ears? Because it's the first time I've thought of it. Well, the ugliness of those who lost their property and were compensated for it <laughs> would um, literally open up the door, um, and I think one of your callers said it, um, to the conversation, which, yet again, um, that is one that has been ignored and slammed down, no matter how many petitions have been put in, yeah. of reparation to the descendants of those who were enslaved. And all we have, it's, it's not hard to see it is about economics because the country will be bankrupt time, like 
thousand times over if they actually had to do reparations. But <laughs> the thing is, it's like kind of financially, yeah, but to acknowledge it, to admit it, to apologize for it, that may go a long way to changing. And, and how yet, you know how easy it is. You've heard people do it, probably even on this radio station. Why are we apologizing for something that happened hundreds of years ago? Yeah, because you know something? <laughs> to apologize for your ancestors' past means that you accept that your ancestors were wrong and also that black people are not property. And you accept that your descendants are equal. Yeah, and you accept literally that, you know what, I was wrong, they were wrong. I don't feel, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know what my background is, but I don't feel guilt as a white person about slavery. I feel immense sadness. Irish background, right? Yes, originally. So we've yeah. got, we've got, I mean, there were Irish slave owners um, as well. But were, yeah. No, not just Irish slave owners. I mean, they were, although, you were, although the Irish were not called slaves, they were indentured servants. Well, you do you know, it's funny you say that, and I know you're not doing this, but people in America in particular, racists in America, often try to use the Irish example as a way of claiming that slavery wasn't racist. And, and I've already recommended a few sources, and I'm going to recommend another. There's a superb librarian uh, called Liam who tweets as Limerick 1914 and, and I think we would both benefit from swatting up a bit on the Irish angle because it can sometimes be used quite disingenuously in, in this sort of context. I know you're not using it that way but the reason I mentioned guilt is why would anybody today unless they were still uh, unless they were still rich off the money they made, why would anybody today feel guilt about slavery when you're we're, we're united in our disgust at it james the difference is is that indentured servants had a time of release and they were paid very little but they were yes. paid and um yes, you're right. enslaved were yes, the comparison is hunted, bogus captured owned um transported sold beaten and treated yeah worse than animals Yes, I take it back. You you don't need to swat up on that. I did need to, 